Yo, what is going on guys? Fishy Jersey here, back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about something that has been going on the past, like, week or so. So pretty much, guys, if you guys don't know already, I have two fish in my tank right now, which is the Clownfish and then the Royal Grama. So, what I want to get into is, um, my clown has been acting really weird. I guess I, I shouldn't say acting, because he, it's, the fish is acting normal, but it jumps out of the tank and I'm not sure why. It all started about, I don't know, three days ago, four days ago. I was sitting um, on my computer just checking some stuff and my sister walks in the room and we're talking for a little bit and all of a, si all of a sudden I see um, something in the corner of my eye just like land on um, one of my water jugs. I was like, what is it? I was like, what? And so I look and my clownfish is like on the water jug. I have a little towel over the water jug, so it's like nice and soft. Um, so it was like laying on the towel, just breathing, like trying to breathe. And I was like, oh my god, like what? Like this is crazy. Like I like clownfish don't jump. Like they're not known as jumpers, um, like firefish or, or something, or like gobies, you know. So um, I quickly put it back in the tank, and I'm like, geez, man, like what's going on? Like why did why did uh, why did he jump? I, I, I honestly wasn't sure. No one <clears throat> went close to the tank to to scare it. Um, I know it does when the lights turn off. It does go to the very top right corner of the tank, and that's where it kind of um, hangs out throughout the night. So I don't know exactly what happened, but it jumped out of the tank, and luckily I put it back in. Well, yesterday. Um, I walked in my room to feed my fish and I don't see the clownfish anywhere and I was just immediately I knew it jumped out it had to jump out because where else would it be so I looked around like the sand bed just in case it was dead or something it wasn't there I was like okay it had to jump out so I was honestly so scared to to look around my tank like the sides um, like on the floor Cause I didn't want to see like a dried up dead clownfish and I was like I was like please like so I was looking around I didn't find it and then I was like okay did it jump to the back of the tank like where the back filtration is and sure enough when I looked I see its little head just like there, it's just swimming back there I'm like oh my gosh like how long was this clown back there um, it could have been hours, honestly, I'm, I wasn't sure. So lately this guy has been trying to commit suicide or something and luckily every time I was there to to save him. Well, yesterday, if he was back there for a while, um, he was still in, he was still in water and, and, um, and everything, so he was fine, but I don't know how long he was out of like the main display. It was just, there he is right there, just chilling, man. I, I love this clownfish. I, I love him, um, just the way he looks. So I just, I want to take good care of him and I don't want him to die. Um, but yeah, so the, the, the last experience I had with the clownfish actually jumping out of the tank was uh, a few years ago when I had a pair of frostbite, um, or not frostbite, of just um, black eyes snowflake clownfish. Um, I had an anemone in my tank at the time and the female was really territorial and aggressive towards anything that got next to the anemone. The male clownfish was completely fine, really nice, but the female was super aggressive. You just, anything, I, I would put my hand in the tank to clean it, just immediately swim at my fingers and try to bite me and do this weird tail whip thing. Sorry about my dog. Um, so, the last time a clownfish jumped out of my tank, I was cleaning the tank and it just rushed my hand right when I was gonna put it in and just jumped out of the tank. And that was the first time I ever experienced a clownfish jumping and I've had many clowns in the past. Um, luckily I was able to pick it up and put it in the tank, but yeah, it was just really weird. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna, I do have some screen that I got from my local fish store. So I'm probably gonna end up making a cover for like a screen cover for the top of the tank um, because I do want to end up getting some fish that uh, are known 
to jump, like uh, some firefish I want to get. I think uh, I might get a couple of those. But um, anyways, either way, I'm going to make a screen just because I don't want my clownfish on the floor one day and I walk in my room and it's dead, you know? So um, I just want to let you guys know about this weird situation with my clownfish. I don't know what it's trying to do, but there's nothing in the tank that is aggressive towards the clown or that frightens the clown. So I'm not sure why it's jumped those past couple of times, but I wanted to ask you guys, have you guys ever experienced clownfish jumping out of the tank? Um, yeah, just let me know because I think it's a really like weird topic because clownfish aren't known for jumping, but I do know pretty much any fish, if startled or anything, could actually jump out of the tank. So let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. Also, I do have a Facebook page, so definitely check that out below. I will leave the link down there. And until next time, guys, peace out.